I know you have reservations about my arrangement with Sabathun. I feel it in your heart. For all her clever machinations, the Witch Queen did not anticipate your success in stopping Quiria or the Endless Night. Her schemes unravel, and now she needs my protection from Zibu Arath, from the Worm Gods, from you. I have already learned much by observation. The Taken pursued her here. Taken she once controlled. Taken that now serve a new master. Or, if Sabathun is to be believed, their original master. Not her brother, Oryx, but something far older. She fears it. It commands Zivu Arath to conquer the ascendant space surrounding the Dreaming City. To use the Taken in her campaign against us. For now. Sabathun claims that without the Taken, she cannot break the curse she placed on the Dreaming City. She thinks she can entice me with these half-truths and secret temptations. But she underestimates the lengths to which I will go to correct the past. the lines, influence them with our paracausal abilities. Me? I prefer to use causal abilities. I see one of Zivu Arath's minions, I cause it to die. Petra, I believe I asked you to stop making that joke. That you did, my queen. That you certainly did. are in alignment, and Zivu Arath's forces are in retreat. Let's bring our lost sister home. Why are we working with Sabathun? Is it the trick where we lie and kill her instead? Because sometimes you have to take risks to do what's important, like stopping Zivu Arath. And save Osiris. Yes. You trust her? I don't know. Maybe. I want to. I don't suppose you've tried beating his location out of her? No one lets me get close enough to do so, but I will keep trying. I knew you'd be back. I'm so glad we get to talk. You and that charming little ghost of yours, you're not like the rest. You're not afraid of my words. Words are just thoughts given shape. Ideas emerging into the physical world, birthed by a mouth. Not good or evil, not light or dark, or this or that. And you understand don't you? Despite the excruciatingly binary worldview of those around you. You don't have to say it. We've all heard it before. The line between light and dark is so very thin. As if you were incapable of lifting your eyes from a scrawl of chalk on the ground. The traveler in the light near one foot your old enemies and the darkness at the other. Let me tell you a secret. If you ever want to see what's been watching you since the very beginning, just stand on that line and look 